the world is full of good news. The following are just a few. As the United Nations peacekeeping mission in Nepal concludes, the Nepalese government and the Maoist Party form a committee to continue diplomatic advancements, saying that they are confident they will be able to form a new government with three months. Formosan or Taiwanese passengers become the first visa-free travelers to enter European Union countries as part of the organization's visa waiver measure for Formosan passport holders. After visiting leaders in Afghanistan and Pakistan, U.S. Vice President Joe Biden meets with Prime Minister Nuri al-Maliki in Iraq, where he commends the nation's progress in forming a government and discusses plans to continue withdrawing troops. U.S. cardiologist Dr. Donald Lloyd-Jones notes that quitting smoking has nearly immediate benefits, with blood pressure dropping within 20 minutes of the last puff and a lowered risk for heart attack within 24 hours. Guyana joins six other Latin American countries, Argentina, Bolivia, Brazil, Chile, Ecuador, and Uruguay, in recognizing Palestine as an independent state, pledging solidarity with the Palestinian people's aspirations of creating a free homeland with peace and prosperity. Algerian Minister of Foreign Affairs Murad Medelsi and visiting Canadian Minister of Foreign Affairs Lawrence Cannon discuss ways to further cooperation and sign a protocol of understanding to set up political consultations between their countries. In the wake of a shooting tragedy in Arizona, USA, First Lady Michelle Obama issues a letter encouraging parents to help their children learn values of acceptance, assuming the best about others and extending support to one another during difficult times. Northern Afghanistan's Dashti Archie District Governor Sheikh Sadudin reports that five Taliban members have voluntarily relinquished their arms as the second such group to do so in the past two days. Speaking at an event honoring the woman of Jordan's 16th parliament, Her Royal Highness Princess Basma of Jordan called on women government leaders to unite in advancing women's rights in the country's challenges. U.S. grocer Whole Foods Market Inc. is expanding its Health Starts Here campaign to all stores across the United States, promoting healthy living by highlighting consumption of nutritious foods such as vegetables, beans, peas, fruits, whole grains, nuts, and seeds. 